Dave Palumbo here with another Supplement and Science Edition. And today we're going to be talking about anabolic steroids, everyone's favorite topic, of course. And, you know, back in 1990, they enacted a, uh, uh, this 1990 Steroid Control Act. And what it basically stated was all anabolic steroids were made controlled substances, specifically controlled three substances, you know, punishable as felonies. And so all of a sudden, the supply of anabolic steroids, at least in this country, became very scarce. And a lot of people started producing what we called counterfeits at the time. In other words, they would try to take the exact bottle that was legitimate, like maybe, you know, Winstrel V, you know, the veterinary Winstrel, and they would actually put other stuff in there between chalky water. Some people were using armor roll. I mean, I've heard just horrible stories of people injecting armor roll into their, into their legs and having to have major surgery to remove these infections. Uh, so they, what they would do is they would try to copy the bottles and the labels and they would, in the boxes and they would sell them as counterfeits. And so back then there was really no way to determine what was real and what wasn't because it wasn't underground labs. It was people legitimately copying this, the, the, the stuff that was out there prior to the Steroid Control Act. So what we had to do is we had to use our Sherlock Holmes, our sense of detective skills. And what people would do is they would look at the labels, and if they, were they some labels that should have been had sharp corners, were rounded corners, you knew it was fake. If the expiration date was stamped onto the bottle, you knew it was real. If it was printed as part of the label, you knew it was fake because they would they would stamp these expiration dates on. Now today these are not really relevant clues because most of the products on the market are underground steroid labs. I mean, people are making these. We know this. But some people make good stuff, and some people make terrible stuff, and some people put nothing in there, and some people put other drugs that are not the drugs you think you're buying in there because it's cheaper. Some people put low-dose stuff in there, so you don't know what you're getting, right? But one of the, the criteria that we used back in the day, which was, which was very, very cheap criteria, very easy to do, uh, and if you, it's almost like a wine connoisseur, is we would taste the anabolic steroids, and I haven't heard of anyone doing that to this day. We would, we would lick the pills, we would chew the pills a little bit, and if the, if the pills tasted sugary, you knew they were fake. Because the, usually that was like a sugar pill someone was using, okay? Um, with some kind of like a, a sugary substance. No pill, no real pill like Winstrel pill or Anavar or Dianabol or Anadrol or Halitocin. They all had very bitter taste and most of the time they would like, they would like almost like numb your tongue a little bit. So when you would chew this, you would look for this bitter, nasty taste. That would tip you off that at least the stuff was real. There was something in there. If it didn't have any taste and it just tasted like chalk or sugary, you knew it was fake. Okay, so that was, that was, that's an easy, and you can do that to this day. I mean, but the problem is you're not, you can't differentiate, you know, what might be Dianabol versus Winstrel, for instance. But you can tell if there's drug in there. Same thing with the injectables. Now, some injectables have a very numbing, almost like an anesthetic-like feel on your tongue, like Tascipionate, um, Tespropionate does that, um, Winstrel V to a certain, or any kind of Winstrel would do that as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else uh, had a very caustic, you know, taste, but um, Parabolum, I believe, had it also, now, which was Trembolone. Other things like testinanthate didn't, didn't numb your tongue like as much. So uh, Primabol didn't really numb your tongue as much. So you had to get, you know, decide you know, what was what. And a lot of times we can tell, oh, this must be this because it, it has more of a numbing effect. You would start, to, and I don't remember all the different tastes of all the different drugs. It's been a long time ago. But we knew. I knew all what they all tasted. I knew what testipinate tasted like. I knew what Primabol tasted like. And that was the criteria we used. It was kind of crude and rudimentary, but that was all we had. Nowadays, however, and you guys know, I've talked about this before, we have a, a, a product called Roy Test. Um, I don't make this product, but I sell it. My friend Bill Llewellyn makes this. It's a tremendous product. This is the, uh, the, the advanced tester. It kind of comes with um, four test vials in it. It comes with a UV light, and it comes with the color charts in here. It's, most people buy this kit and then they buy refills to, to make up for it. Now what the Roy test enables you to do is, is determine what's actually in the product. Each steroid has a specific signature and certain vials that you use. And I have a, a color chart if, if you scroll up my website or down the website on the Roy test page, you'll see there's a chart there, right there, that you can actually look at the different drugs 
and see which vials you should buy to test those drugs. Now, some of the, 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 the steroids we have, like Anavar, just to make it easier, I have an Anavar test kit, which has the two vials that you need in there already. And you can just buy the Anavar test kit. I think we have a Winchell test kit like that as well. Other times, it's just easier just to figure out which vials you need. I, oh, I need an A and a D, and I'm going to buy those separately as refills, and then you can test your products. And, it, and what it does is it takes the guesswork out. And I, and I hate to say this because I'm so happy that I'm not competing and using steroids in this day and age because at least 50% of the anabolic steroids that get tested are fake. And I know this because I have hundreds of clients and I have a lot of people who are not even my clients who buy these kits and tell me, hey Dave, uh, I got this result. Is this, is this good or not? Well, it's not. You know, the D vial is definitive for injectables, okay? So most injectables will turn purple or, or shade of purple in uh, ex exposure to the D vial. If there's no purple change, there's no drug in there. Now, testosterone is probably the least fake drug out there because it's the cheapest. And I have guys who say, I tested my testinanthate with the D vial, it, it, it didn't change, okay, color. Well, then you don't have testosterone in there, okay? I hate to say it, but, and I see it a lot. I see it a lot. And, and what that tells me, and, and that's why I advise you guys out there, and I hope you listen, test the products. I don't care who you get it from, how reputable the person is, how much of a friend they are to you, test the products. They're $20 test, testers. You're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on these, on, on steroids, you know, for cycles every year. Test your products. At least you know you're not wasting your time. The worst thing I have to tell someone, and I've said this before, is, you know what? You're sending me update progress pictures. You look natural to me, okay? And then we go and we test the products and, and, and the products are no good. I hate that because this, this person just wasted all this time. They wasted all this money and they could have just tested the product from day one and they could have known, all right, you know what, I got screwed or you know what, no, my stuff is good and I don't have to worry about it. Test your products before you use it. I'm not just saying this because I sell the stuff. Yeah, I want to make some money selling the product. That's not what I'm doing this video for. I'm telling you this video for a reason because... I see a lot of people wasting a lot of time and money. Test your products. Coming out in later in 2020, we're gonna be able to test actually what the strength of the, of the testosterone. So not only will you be able to see if you have real steroids, you'll be able to see the dosages on some of these things, the range of dosages, which is a, a new tool that we're gonna be bringing to the table. I'm not sure when it's coming out, so don't, don't email me tomorrow and say, Dave, can I buy, it's not available yet, okay? There is a clenbuterol testing kit that is on its way to my house. Um, I helped you know, uh, Bill develop this kit, and a lot of people have asked me about that because a lot of people don't use anabolic steroids, but they use clenbuterol to burn fat, and there's a lot of fake clenbuterol. So there's a clenbuterol testing kit will be probably in my possession within the next week, so that'll be something added. And of course, we have the growth hormone testing kit now, which is amazing. It's like a pregnancy test kit. It's so easy. You literally dip the stick in, you take it out, you put it on the table, Okay, you wait 20 minutes. If you see two lines, stuff's fake. <laughs> if you have one line, it, it's good. If it's fake, two lines, it doesn't matter, it's fake. Unfortunately, the GH testing people, I would say 75% of the GH out there is fake. At least for the people that are testing, that they've shown me. I have more people telling me that their GH is fake than, than there's telling me that their GH is good. And that's scary. Because GH is way more expensive. You're a fool if you don't test your GH. Is the GH testing kit more expensive? Yes. Why is it more expensive? Because it's more expensive to make. And we're not making as many of them because there's more people test their steroids than they test the GH. So it's a little more expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, because what happens if you're using $3,000, $4,000 worth of GH over the course of six months and then you find out the stuff is fake? You're gonna to wanna to kill yourself, okay? Does a pregnancy test tell you if your GH is, is real? No. All it can tell you is if it's HCG. So if someone decided to, instead of giving you GH, to give you HCG, a pregnancy test will test positive for HCG, because that's what you're testing for in pregnancy, and it will tell you if you have it. If the pregnancy test comes back negative, all that means is that you don't have HCG in your, it doesn't mean you still have GH, it could be nothing you have. So the only way to detect if you have GH or not is to use the GH testing kits, okay? And I'm the only one who has them. Uh, from Roy Test, they're made by the same company, by Bill Llewellyn's you know, company. It's a great tester, it's very, very accurate. 
If it says it's, if you get the one line, you got real GH. If you got two lines, it's fake. That's the end of the story. Now, moving forward with the testing technology, as it improves, we'll be able to tell dosages and stuff like that, hopefully down the road as well. But for now, this is where we're at, okay? You can go to DavePalumbo.com. I got the chart in there. You'll tell you exactly what vials you need for each drug. You could buy the stuff that you need, okay? And then there's a color chart in there. When you mix the stuff, when you put your couple drops in, follow the directions, please, okay? I have videos up there about that as well. Check your color charts. If it changes to the right colors, you're good. The great thing about the, the steroid testing kits is if, they, if you get a different color change, you can look on the chart and see what you got. So you might think you have primabolin, but you actually have, you know, test propionate. And the colors will match up perfectly. And that's what I see a lot, by the way. I probably have seen out of, a, out of every hundred Prima bone test, maybe one is real. The rest are either test propionate or nothing, okay, unfortunately. Anivar, I would say 50% of Anivar is real, 50% is Dianabol. If you're a woman and you're taking Anivar, thinking you're taking Anivar, and you're taking Dianabol, you're gonna grow really well in it, but you're gonna get a lot of side effects and you're gonna be very unhappy. So don't be cheap, test your Anivar, make sure it's real. If you're a woman taking Winstrel, test your Winstrel, make sure it's real. You don't need the side effects, okay? It's not worth it, don't cheap out. I can't stress this enough, you're so lucky in this day and age to have these testing kits that we didn't have back in my day. Granted, back when I competed, it was a little easier to get good stuff, okay? Especially if you went to Europe and, and, and got that supply chain, but there were still fakes and you still, people used fakes all the time and I know horror stories of people that were injecting stuff that were not sterile, that was, you know, I talked about it, Armorol. People were injecting Armorol thinking it was Winstrel. So nowadays, you can test that stuff. So at least there's a safety net there for you to see if your products are indeed the real deal. All right, I'm not gonna beat this to death. Once again, if you wanna check out the Roy test, the, the, the GH tester, or the Clembuterol tester, it's available at DavePalumbo.com. I'm Dave Palumbo for another Supplement and Science Review.